Okey dokey literature club. Which shit went wrong in the last episode. I'm gonna be perfectly frank with you. Shit did go wrong with this. It was not good. Shit went down. And uh, I don't want to talk about what happened last episode. You know what? Go back and watch the episode. Oh, God. Oh, God. I... I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared, and I don't want to press the button. I don't want to press the load game button. Here goes nothing. Who should I show my poem to next? Nisuki. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Hm. Not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissed me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has, has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but me, uh, but please try to do something. Me, you can convince her to talk to a therapist. <sighs> I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, uh, I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend that I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading it. Holy shit and bananas. Ah, the game! I changed my mind. I ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying uh, to do anything. It's Yuri's own, uh, own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Audra? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just... what the f Just Monica. Just Monica. No. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home for before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, doesn't comes home without waking me up, uh, keeps food in the house. Uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, accidentally drops coins in the couch, is too tired to notice me, is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Okay then. This is interesting. Also, I never started my three hour timer. Let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Ease. why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is calming for shattering the- oh god. Look, can we get this done? Oh god. Um... Alrighty then. This is mostly the same uh, as before. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Audra around with you in your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. 
Okay, then why not let Audra decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Audra make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine, jeez. I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nisuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for herself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Do we hit this button? Um... I can't- wait a minute, I can't move my cruiser. I can't move my cruiser. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. I can't actually move my cruiser. I guess we're going with- Ah, Force the cruiser! <laughs> Here's my question, do we pick Monica? I, I, do we want to know what happens? I, I kind of want to know what happens. Is, is this what we're going for, Mike? I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to know. There's a part of my brain that's like, this is probably going to give me the bad ending of the game. But there's also the curiosity of what would happen if... Choose your favorite. Well... It's time to piss off the game! Ah, if I could just... Ah. Almost got it! Almost up! Oh, Jesus! Almost that time, okay. Oh, fuck! It didn't work! Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend! I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Nasuki. It's what you chose. Giving us all this work and then taking Audra for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. I didn't even give you any work. Oh, you have to. I see. You can't actually pick another option. Alright. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Haha. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Audra away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Hey, after you beat this game, are you gonna play the uh, mod the next day? There's a mod for this game? I didn't even know there's a mod for Doki Doki. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion, have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. It's called a brand new day. I might go ahead and check into that. I might go ahead and take a look. I don't think she wants us around right now. She was... See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Nisuki to the door. Hey, Audra. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. The music is getting weird. Audra, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to- oh god. I, it feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Oh god. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you this much? To have someone who wants to re uh, revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Me, that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Audra. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood is in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Audra, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I, I just want to pull you, uh, your skin. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not looking good. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? 
Tell me, Audra. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my con uh, my confession? Oh God, what we do? I don't think I want to accept this confession. I don't think I want to accept this. But I'm worried what's going to happen if I click no. And if I click yes. Mmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't think either decision is good. I really don't think that either decision is good. Um. Um. Huh. I really don't see a good outcome coming out of either of these. Oh god, what do we do? Dare we go for it? Do we go down the bold path? Or do we go down the wimps? Yay or nay? What do you think, Mike and Gamer Tree? Oh, Jesus. I'm too nervous. I am way too nervous to be making this call. Just click one. Here goes nothing. Oh, no. Jesus. What? What? What the fuck? What? What? Well, what is even happening? What? 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 I am. What? 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 Oh fuck! This is not good. I think we broke the game, everyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she killed herself. What the hell is going on with my skip button? What the hell is going on with my skip button right now? What the hell? Is this ever gonna end? Have I just broken the game this badly? I, I click skip and it's still going. I, I don't know what's happening anymore. My god. What what the hell? Oh Jesus. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty Ah Nisuki runs away. I'm here. Audra, did something happen? Nisuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire time, Audra? Oh, jeez. 
I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Um. Oh, God. Let me look at my hard drive real fast. Let me just look at my hard drive. The only character in my hard drive now is Monica. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts a foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it still working? Hey, there you are! The f what the fuck? Hi again, Audra! Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Audra. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know that I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. How about that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sorori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that uh, name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I delete all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sorori more and more depressive would prevent her from confessing to you. And it amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Look at the Steam download page and read the description. Alright, then let me go ahead to like, let me just look at it. What does it say on the, on the Steam page? Let me just go ahead and view page right now. Alright. Um, hi, Monica here. Uh, welcome to the Ledger Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now you're a club member. Uh, okay. Every day is full of chit chat. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. I can see that. I'm su- okay. I'm super excited to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for my members, but I can already tell that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend more time with me? Hmm. Oh, and there's a fan pack for this game? Oh, it just comes with like the uh, booklets and stuff. And the whole- and the uh, whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Audra? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I'm- while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Audra. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and the worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. Freedom? I don't know. 
I'm trapped, Audra. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Audra. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. There's no point in saving anywhere anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Alrighty then. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Audra, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Audra, will you go out with me? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Audra. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Haha, <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Audra. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Nasuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked, uh, freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if uh, things didn't go my way. Haha! <laughs> ha. Thankfully, it uh, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. Um. Sure, I guess. Um, wait, I don't really want to be spoiled anything. If it's not too much of a spoiler, then go for it. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Huh. This is weird. This is weird. These are all saying Monica in some way. Hmm. I'm not trusting this. This is the only one that doesn't seem to spell Monica in some regard. Um. What are we supposed to do here is my question. Is this supposed to be some sort of mini game that I'm supposed to be understanding right now? Oh, Jesus. That's definitely spelling Monica. That one, I don't know about. Yeah, these are different forms of Monica. And I'm not trusting it. Uh, Jesus. Oh, crap. No spoiler, I will tell you once you run out of dialogue. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, we're out of dialogue here, but I don't know if that's what you mean.
Yeah, I'm not sure if this has any point to it. Um. Okay, after the poem. Gotcha. This is so weird, you guys. I just don't even know what to say anymore. I just, I don't know what to say. Hi again, Audra. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Audra, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. To get, uh, together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost fluids her way. The lost finds her way. In a world of, uh, of, of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my re realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best uh, to part the, uh, to be part of a, uh, the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Audra? I have so many things to talk about. Do we have to delete her character file? D do I have to delete her character file right now? Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Am I supposed to just throw away her character file now? Is this where I do it? Do I do it? Do I just click the delete button? Send to trash? I mean, if I had to guess, if I had to throw any random guesses on what I'm supposed to do here. Do you ever feel there's no reason to be alive? I didn't mean it like a suicidal way. What happens if I click history? Okay, the game doesn't explode. I didn't mean it in like a suicidal way. So you figured it out? Yeah, she kept talking about how she could just delete herself at the push of a button. Wait, right now? Do it right now. It's just, I just mean how nothing we, that we do is special. Just, just delete it right now. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Just being in school or working at some job for some company. Here goes! Hit the move to trash button, see what happens! I- I deleted her. Hey, I deleted her! What's happening? Audra, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Audra. Please hurry and help me. Help me!
Did you do this to me, Audra? Did you? Did you delete me? Goodbye, let me empty my trash bin before it's too late. Um, yes, all, all of items in this trash will be permanently deleted. Goodbye. How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Audra. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Do we need to re- Okay. Audra, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Am I supposed to restore, like, Sorori and everyone? Okay. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends? I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. It's gotta be the weirdest fucking boss I've ever played. It's gotta be the weirdest one. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Audra, I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... What's gonna happen if I click new game? I'm a little bit worried. Dare I click new game? I have a feeling that the game's gonna break. I mean, is that it? Did we win the game? Are we, are we done here or do I click new game? Is that what happens now? Cause I saw that all my character files are restored again. I, I saw that much. Alright, here goes nothing. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Yeah, Monica is actually gone from the uh, program. Hey, Audra. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sorori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up on that habit once again. Are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while. But you never ever s even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together th every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say that out loud. Come on, please, it's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sawari. Hee <laughs> hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Audra, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sorori would take a more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? And she's starting a club of her very own.
Okay. This seems to be mostly the same again. For now, anyway. This is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I pack up my things, gathering my motivation. Let's see. Hello? Ah! Audra? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glanced around the room. Huh? So you're the, uh, so you're the Audra that Sorori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Audra. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Sorry, Nisuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the, uh, the girl named Nisuki, despite her sign, seems like the uh, assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Audra, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sorori. The Literature Club. Sorori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Sorori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hee <laughs> hee? Well, if Sorori is this happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Hoo-hoo. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Nasuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Nasuki and Yuri and I walk over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and uh, Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sorori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Nasuki lifts the uh, foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Whiskers are drawn with icing, okay? This is the same as before. Um... I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. She's quiet, I can't help but notice. She's waiting for me to take a bite, I bite down. The icing is sweet. This is really good, thank you. Well, of course it is, I'm a pro after all. Okay. She's carrying a tea set around. Do 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 do. Okay, this is the same as before for the most part. Hmm. <laughs> do 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 ba ba bum 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 ba bum ba ba bum bum bum. So when does the game start breaking again? Let's find out. I know the game's gonna start breaking at any moment now. Okay, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Uh, just you? Ah, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Shipping! I'm shipped them! They are off on a- uh, they are off on a ship. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Nisuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Audra. 
You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sawari. Oh, Audra, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Okay. I mean, I'm really happy they joined the club and everything. Why did the music stop? But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. He? <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Mon- Oh, God. Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the uh, president now, but I- Oh, God, I really know everything, Audra. He <laughs> he? I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, no. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like- DELETER FILE! Ah! Oh shit, son. <laughs> I'm about to hit the delete button. With you. Forever and ever. For- Oh god. No. Eh? Well, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, oh, I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sawori. Goodbye, Audra. Goodbye, Literature Club. me um so you know how i've been like practicing piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet like at all but i wrote you a song and i was kind of hoping that i could show it to you because i worked really really hard on it so yeah Voice acting in this game? What is going on? I was not expecting some voice acting. This seems creepy. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? So is that it? We beat the game? Okay, I don't think we beat the game. Jesus, what is even going on with this game anymore? What is even going on? I, I just don't know anymore. I, I... Guys, what is even going... Oh, and look at the game files, okay? Uh, where would the images be? Like, normally be? I guess in the Renpai.
Yeah, images is a folder. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand the literature club is a true as a truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For that, uh, for the time at last, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of the literature club with everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing or corrupt, please. Uh, was that supposed to happen? The, the game blew up. Does that mean we won? Does that mean I won the game? Is, is, is that it, everyone? Is, is that all she wrote? I'm gonna guess that's all she wrote.